here with Justin Thompson. We just wrapped up round seven here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Heath Harrison made it seven in a row now. He continued his winning streak. Yeah, Heath's been on a roll all season. You know, he, he's steadily uh, just increased his speed each week. I mean, today he, he looked phenomenal. Through the whoops, I mean, better than anybody out here. We didn't see as many pro guys as we normally do, but Johnny Moore was still here. He got third last weekend in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, second tonight here in the class here in Hattiesburg. He's moving up every weekend. Johnny Moore, you're here with the first place finish in the AX Pro Lights main event. Heath Harrison had the AX Pro main event. You guys are going to go head to head in the clash. How do you feel about that? I'm pretty confident now that I got that win. I got a good start and uh, that's what it's going to take in the clash for cash and just uh, trying to stay clean with these other riders and uh, just, just get through the course uh, on two wheels. Awesome. Well, best of luck in this clash coming up. Hopefully we'll see you back up here on the podium. Thank you. Do you think he's going to get it done next week in Starkville? Uh, you know, Johnny's always a, a threat. I mean, he started the series late this year. You know, he's got other obligations and stuff like that. So, I mean, he's just going to pick up speed each week and get a little closer to Heath. And maybe by the end in Tunica, we'll see him doing some battling. Yeah, I think those two have really gotten closer and closer since Johnny came back mid-season. And it's really added some intense racing to the series. All right, Zachary Bishop Burnett, you've been really consistent tonight. You've been on the podium a couple times now. How do you feel heading into this Clash for Cash event? I uh, feel pretty good. Uh, I'm riding smart. I'm uh, actually going a lot faster than I usually do. And uh, I just got to focus on not getting tired and uh, try to put in some smooth laps and keep up with Heath and Johnny. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations on this podium. Taylor Holt, this is your first podium with us in the pro class. How does it feel? Uh, yeah, it feels really good, you know. I, uh, I got hurt back in November, hit my head a little hard, and uh, I really wanted to hit Memphis and a few other ones, you know. But uh, I couldn't, and you know, I love this. this I love what y'all put on. This place is amazing. What do you think about the track here tonight that Jetworks built? Uh, it's really good if the dirt didn't break down so bad. Can we expect to see you at any more of these? Uh, I hope so, you know. I might go out there in this uh, clash for cash and try to put on a good ride. And if I do good and make some good enough money, I'll, I'll be here next weekend. Awesome. Well, good luck in that clash for cash. Thank you. Harrison, you've made it seven in a row now. How do you feel about this points lead that you have? It's a pretty drastic lead on the rest of the pack. How does this set you up for the next round in the championship? Yeah, I feel good. I uh, have a lot of confidence right now and uh, hope to keep that rolling through the rest of the series and then carry it into East Coast Supercross and hopefully it goes just as well. Yeah, you've pretty much had a perfect season here in the Clash. If you finish out the next two rounds with wins, it will be a perfect season. I know you have some sponsors that helped you out this year. Let's hear those. Yeah, I couldn't do it out all my family and friends that came out to support me tonight. That's uh, pretty awesome of all you to drive so far and do that. And uh, just all my sponsors that helped me, Got Gear Motorsports, JM Racing, uh, FMF, Scott Goggles, Recluse Clutch, uh, Bruce MX, Pro Taper, the whole Murphy family, the Harvin family, and uh, Stephen Brady. That guy's been awesome to me and just everybody. Thank you. Awesome. Well, congratulations on another win here in the Clash. Thank you. All right, Johnny Moore, you finished second here tonight. You're improving every weekend. How does this set you up for the rest of the season? I think it sets me up pretty good. I had a late start to the series. I joined on about the fourth or fifth round, something like that. And uh, I haven't had a lot of a lot of good finishes, but uh, last weekend I finished third and here uh, second, so I can't be too disappointed with that. I'm moving in the right direction, so I'm looking forward to start ball. Awesome, and I know you have some sponsors that help you get here, so why don't we hear those? Yeah, the Lord Jesus Christ for keeping me safe, my mom, my dad, my whole entire family, uh, JBZ Racing, uh, FMF, Novik, Utopia, uh, Engine Ice, and anybody else I forgot, thanks. Well, congratulations on your result this weekend here in the Clash. Uh, that was by far the hardest race I've ever done in my life. Uh, that was intense, you know, I knew Heath. I was really praying, told Giant before that gate dropped, I said, I wouldn't mind getting lapped in this race. And uh, he got around me about on the 18th lap, and I just, uh, I had no back brakes. I lost my on the second lap. And I just kind of rode and just tried to stay in front of Andrew. He was riding great. He was, he was right there the whole moto. I, uh, he definitely made it a lot harder than I wish it would have been, but he was good. I know you have some sponsors that help you get here. Why don't we hear those? Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ for keeping me safe, for one. My mom, my dad, I wouldn't be anywhere without them. My girlfriend, uh, 
my brother, my sister-in-law, Shuey Helmet, Scott Goggles, Alias Gear, Grenade Boots, FMF, 139 Designs, Factory Connection, Excel Rims, Dunlop, just, uh, just everyone. I appreciate it. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the podium here tonight in Hattiesburg. Uh, you know, it was really cool to see uh, not only that the good the good pro racing we had with Zach and everything like that, but we also had that mini thunder tonight. That was the first time that we really had uh, a good grasp on it, and I think the kids enjoyed it. Yeah, we featured the 65 to 85 open beginner class. They had their mini thunder pennies on, and they will get buy one get one free pass to a mini thunder round, which starts in February at the Jetworks compound, as well as a free ride day at the Jetworks compound. So it's pretty cool for those guys to get out there. They were a featured class. We interviewed the winner, Paul Pate. So it was overall a good night of racing. All right, I'm down here on the floor with your winner of the mini thunder select class. That was the 65 85 open beginner class. I've got Paul Pate here with me. Paul, how did it feel to get that win out there? Yeah, I felt real good. Did you race any of the Mini Thunder series last year? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Well, you will actually get a pass to come do one of our races for free. They start in February. You'll also get a free pass to come ride out at the Jetworks compound in Jackson, Mississippi. Congratulations on your win out here tonight. Yeah, and the kids were thrilled. I mean, you know, I, I seen how excited they were online. It even got intense out there, a little bit of hard hard battling, but it was all for fun. You know, the kids enjoy it. So uh, tomorrow we got the Engine Ice uh, Triple Cup, and I'm kind of excited for that. I mean, that's round number two, and it's going to be good. Well, we head to Starkville next weekend, and then after that we have the ride day at the Jetworks compound that will replace the Macon round, and then we finish up the season in Tunica. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, there's a lot of things ahead of us still, but I, we're closing it out, and it's going to be we're going to go out with a bang like we always do. Awesome. Well, we wrapped up another great night of racing here in Hattiesburg, and we will see you in Starkville.